Happy Friday, everybody! Welcome to this week's STEAM activity. My name is Kenzie Heisel, and I work at the Boyle County Public Library. This week, we're going to be making some sediment jars so you can see the types of dirt that live around where you are. Here's what you'll need to get started. You'll need some water, enough water to fill up about half of your jar. So you'll also need a glass jar. This is my recycled glass jar from some of the other activities that we've done. So I use this one from some sauce that my family finished up and washed out the jar. So you can use any sort of glass or plastic jar that you have around your house. You'll need a stick to stir your jar. So it can be a stick or a spoon, whatever you want to stir. Or you could just shake your jar. You'll also need a shovel to dig up some dirt. And speaking of dirt, that's the next thing that you'll need and your main ingredient. So I don't have it here on my table yet, but we'll have to go and get some dirt in my backyard. The types of dirt, uh, it's better if the dirt that, it's better if the dirt that you use is a bunch of different types, so what's in your garden might not be the best for this experiment. And also make sure you have permission to dig up a little bit of dirt before you do so. You'll need enough dirt to fill about half of your jar. Okay, let's go dig up some dirt. Okay, so I found a dirt patch which is by a tree in my backyard and now I'm gonna dig up some dirt. So you want to fill about half of your jar up with dirt. Hopefully I have some good dirt here for our sediment jar. So let's go back and do the rest of the experiment. All right, so I went and got some dirt out of my backyard. Again, make sure you have permission to dig up whatever dirt you want. And it's about halfway full on my jar. So next step will be that I add some water and fill up the rest of my jar. Okay, now I'll take my stick and I'll stir it all up together. Make sure, making sure I get the parts at the bottom. Okay, that's all stirred. And just to make sure I stirred it up really well, I'll put my lid on and give my jar a good shake. Really making sure it's all mixed up with the water. Okay, so now you have your sediment jar and it is now ready to sit. And as it sits, the different levels and types of dirt will separate in your water mixture and then we can come back and see the different layers and the types of dirt that you have around your house. I'm really interested to see what I have at my house. I haven't done this experiment before so we'll all be learning together. So the website I saw said, recommends that it sits for about a day so I'll do that or I'll check it at the end of the day and I'll let it sit and we'll see what it looks like when we come back. Can't wait to see what yours look like as well. And that's how you make a sediment jar. I can't wait to see how your jars turned out and the different levels of dirt and things in your backyards or the areas around your homes where you got permission to dig up your dirt and see how that turned out and what you found in your jar. As always, thanks for watching this video. This is our last STEAM activity video of the summer, but we'll be back this fall with even more fun activities and videos for you all to do while you're at home right now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all later. Bye.